All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Omabuga Emmanuel, and I will be taking us through how we can make use of this my Excel templates. Now, this Excel template is very useful, especially for um, schools, secondary schools, in order to automate their report card process. So, the first thing you need to do when you are with this template is to, you know, come to this place where you have the name of the school. So, over here you can enter the name of your school like for instance this is eminence academy you can enter the address of your school the motto of your school maybe it is learning today leading tomorrow and you can enter the resumption date of your school that is the day your your school will resume when the students have been issued their report card also the academic session you can enter it here and in the term year you can select whether it is first term second term or third term or what have you so let me just leave it as first term so here you can also write, you can also tell us whether it's a nursery and primary school, junior secondary school or secondary school, alright? So in this case we leave it as a senior secondary school and then you tell us whether it is a SS3, GSS3, primary 6, so it can be, it could be, it could be, it could be primary 1. So you see, it? so control Z, so it could be primary 1, so and then the total number of students in class, so these are the th details you enter your school details and the exam settings also you can also enter the subjects what are the subjects that your schools your school is offering mathematics english animal husbandry it could be anything so you can enter it here so once you are done with this um, settings you move over to the student bio data now in the student bio data the student bio data is where you capture the details of the students like their admission number the admission number of your own could be 15 zero six zero one zero nine five so this could be your own admission number so control z so this could be your own admission number so you enter it here and then you enter the, the names of the student maybe it's their son name and their name like for instance we have a bam okay let's say i want to change it to abo said the uh, fees all right so and i want to change it to adeni blessing all right so to change it to add any blessing so you can also change it so and then here you can change it to mail so the student bio data i go back again this student bio data is where you capture the details of the students like the admission number the, the the names of the student as well as the gender so once you are done with that you will now go to the score sheet you now go to the score sheet now in this score sheet this is where you capture the scores of the student now you don't need to touch the serial number the admission number and the names of the student you know why i have connected it with the you know the student bio data so whatever you enter here is being captured in the student score sheet so you don't need to bother yourself about the serial number the admission number if you even try to do that by it will tell you i've locked the cell so trying to edit this place will not be possible so what you do is just come here and enter can you see i both said the affairs and i didn't need a blessing the two um students will just enter so all you need to do in the student score sheet that we are in is just to enter the d the, their their ca and their exam what did they get in their ca and what did they get in their exam you don't need to enter the total it will calculate by itself 20 plus 25 gives us 45 12 plus 14 gives us 26 so if you even try to total it by yourself by trying to enter it to give you an error so there's a formula here calculating the test and the exam so that is that so once you are done you will enter all the details for mass, English, animals, boundary, computer, CV, government, account, CRK, and economy. So all this place, all this total, leave them. You leave them, you leave them. The, the, the software will calculate them automatically for you. So just enter the scores of the students for the subject that you have registered in this place. Are we together? So once you have done that, you don't need to touch this total. This total will calculate itself. This average will calculate itself. This position will calculate by itself. So once you have entered this the score sheet, once you have entered the details of the score sheet, all you need to do is just to go to the report card and select the the not the 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 drop down. Let's say I want I want the first person. Can you see? I both say the office is details will appear. If I delete it, you will discover that. There will be nothing here. everything will be showing zero all right so but if i come here and i select i select the first person can you see it will appear if i come here and i select the second person it will appear if i come here and i select the another person can you see 
everything keeps updating automatically can you see this one carries seventh position can you see this one can you see somewhere this one carries this first position so that is how you can use this template so all you need to do is just to all you need to do again is just to register the, the details of your school register the exam settings of your school and go to the student bio data register the name of the student the admission number the gender and go over to the score sheet and enter the scores of the student every other thing will be updated automatically so the, in the report card all you just need to do is to select the drop down and you have the result of the student and also we have the broadsheet so let us say your school wants to print the broadsheet report look at it this is the broadsheet summary now you don't need to touch anything here i just did this one so that we can view it so this is the broadsheet of your school and in some schools you know they normally print the the broadsheet so you can highlight it and uh, you know and i like this if you want to print it for for documentary purpose i like it come to file and you see you can easily print it so that is that about that so you can print the the broadsheet if you want so you can print the broadsheet if you want so you don't need to touch this broadsheet so so i hope you get it now so this so the first thing is the student bio data where you capture the details of the student the score sheet where you capture the scores of the students and while this report card and broadsheet report you don't need to do anything here all you just need to do here is to select the drop down why all you just need to do in this broadsheet is to print it if you want or you can just view it if you want so that is that about this template and the term of use like we can see this template is copyright meaning that you cannot use it even if you buy it you cannot use it um for you cannot use it for a commercial purpose like trying to sell it to another party so and this is my number in case they, they you want to customize this template so my number is zero eight one six nine three nine four zero one seven this is my business email like this template was designed by omar bugon emmanuel omar bugon emmanuel all right so that is that about that so in this report card template this like i said you can select any of the details of the student and then you can do it and then oh, another thing i want you to notice that you can also save this as a pdf so all you just need to do is come here take note of the name all so all you just need to do is to come here and click save as you can save it as a pdf so you can save it on your desktop and see let's say you want to save it as all that you know so you can come here and save it as a pdf can you see the idea behind saving it as a pdf is that so that you can't you can send it to the parent of the students maybe through their whatsapp or through their um, email can you see it now look at look at it can we see how it is beautiful so you can save it as a pdf and you can save it as a pdf and print it or you save it as a pdf and send to the email address of the parents of Oladin Ramosis or you you know save it as a pdf and send it to the parents whatsapp or to the student whatsapp or to the to the email address of the student or whichever way so you can save it as a pdf and send to either whatsapp or email of the parent or the student concerned so that is that so when you are done you can select another student and you see and also save as a pdf and send or you can just easily come here if you don't want to save as a pdf you can just easily come here file and you know easily print it and say print can you see you can just print it yeah yeah you select the the printer that you want to use so you come here and then you say print this for me so to print it once it is being printed you can the the class teacher can go ahead and comment sign and and you know insert the dates so that is that about that thank you so like i said if you need this excel templates all you need to do is to reach out to to me via my email which is eomabugon e at gmail.com or via my phone number 0816934017 and also the grades you know some schools some schools may not be using this grading system so all you need to do is to reach out to me to customize it so this template is fully customizable if you want us to include the attendance of your students whatever it is if you want us to include the top five students the top world student the subject champion the position per subject whatever it is that you want we can customize it for you so thank you for watching this video and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe to my youtube channel as i have more you know videos to upload on mind-blowing content on microsoft excel so 
my name is Omar Bugaimano. You can check me on LinkedIn. I'm a Microsoft Excel expert. Thank you and God bless you.